Hi everyone. In this lecture, we'll see another example or numerical on energy or power signal. So x of n is given as sine pi by 3 into n. So determine whether x of n is energy or power signal. So hope you are aware about the trigonometric formula where we can write sine square theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2. So we are going to use this formula. So I kept it here for your reference. Fine. Now we already know that the energy E of a discrete time signal x of n is defined as the summation of the absolute square of x of n over the limit n ranging from minus infinity to plus infinity, right? So we can replace this x of n by sine of pi by 3 into n, right? So when you replace this, it will become summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity sine square of pi by 3 n, right? Now we are going to apply this formula here see this formula you have to apply here so it will become what when you apply this it will become summation okay so 1 minus cos 2 theta right so cos it will become 2 pi by 3 into n this whole divided by 2 over the range n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity hope this is clear to you fine now let's move next and try to solve this fine so 1 by 2 i will take this out so it will become what 1 by 2 okay into summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity okay 1 minus cos 2 pi by 3 n right hope this much is also clear to you fine now let's move further so i'm going to split this into two parts so we can write it as 1 by 2 okay summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity 1 to the power n okay i can write it like this minus summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity okay cos 2 pi by 3 into n okay now here is the interesting part you should aware about few facts that you have gone through while learning trigonometric series fine so this coming to this part right so if you see sum of infinite ones is what infinity okay sum of infinite sum is what infinity and coming to this part so sum of samples of one period of a cosinusoidal signal is what zero so if it is zero it means over the range n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity you know if sum of samples of one period is zero for then for every period every repetition it will become what zero so we can conclude from here like this will become what then zero right and this is what infinity so if this is the case then we we'll land up to 1 by 2 okay infinity minus 0 which is basically what infinity itself right so from here we can conclude that energy is equal to infinity for this case for this particular signal so you can highlight this this is one conclusion fine now let's move further and try to calculate the power or the average power for a discrete time signal x of n right now let's move further 
okay so now we already know the power for formula or average power right it is equal to limit n tending to infinity 1 upon 2 pi plus sorry 1 divided by 2n plus 1 summation of absolute square of x of n over the limit n is equal to minus n2 plus capital N. We already know this. So simply I am replacing this x of n with that value what is given in the quotient right sine okay sine value what it is sine pi by 3 into n right. So it will become this now. So hope this much is clear to you. It is basic. Just I am replacing this. Now the actual story will start. Okay. So let's move further and try to solve this. Fine. So limit n tends to infinity 1 divided by 2n plus 1. Now we already know we already know we can write this like what was the value for sin square theta it was 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 2 applying the same here okay so it will become what 1 minus cos 2 pi by 3 into n divided by 2 okay Let's bring this two out and split this into two parts. So it will become what limit n tends to infinity 1 divided by 2n plus 1 into 1 by 2 and inside it will become what n is equal to minus n to plus n. Okay, so 1 to the power n minus summation n is equal to minus n to plus capital N cos 2 pi by 3 N. Okay. Now let's talk about this. So same rule is applicable here, right? So this will become what? 0. And let's talk about this. Okay. So if you see the formula summation N is equal to 1 to N if it is given like 1 to the power 1 to the power n right so this is equal to basically n this is equal to what this n so if we apply this formula here so first from minus n to minus 1 we'll get n terms right then for 0 it will become what 1 to the power 0 which is basically 1 and then from 1 to capital N it will become n terms so we can write this as what we can write this as so basically let's move further and write limit n tends to infinity 1 divided by 2n plus 1 into 1 by 2 so as I told you it will become what 1 plus 1 plus 1 okay plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 and this will give you what 0 so here the main point is this is what n terms as I told you right this is n terms this is one term for this part okay and this is what another n terms n terms so finally it become what n plus n 2n plus 1 right so limit n limit n tends to infinity 1 divided by 2n plus 1 into 1 by 2 and this is what 2n plus 1 so now we can cancel this 2n plus 1 2n plus 1 so there is no n term now so you can directly conclude here like simple see one step more that is what 1 by 2 so from here we got 1 by 2 watts power average power right so now you can conclude here like what here 
P is what power this power is what finite P is finite and energy E is what infinite so so X of n is a power signal X of n is what a power signal is a power signal okay hope this much is clear to you now let me explain you this part why I kept it as zero in the last also I theoretically explained you why it is zero but let's see the practical let's see the proof for this so it will be good for you fine okay now let's take cos 2 pi by 3 into n we already know that the general expression is a cos omega n if I keep a is equal to 1 omega value is what 2 pi f so it becomes cos 2 pi f n right so when you compare this with this so you will get what 2 pi by 3 n is equal to 2 pi f n so from here what we got f is equal to what 1 by 3 which is basically m by capital N so this n is what a fundamental period so here we got the fundamental period is equal to what 3 for this signal cos 2 pi by 3 into n right so fundamental period is what 3 here okay so the term this cos 2 pi by 3 n is periodic with periodicity of what 3 samples okay now let's calculate the 3 samples and try to sum up that 3 samples then you will understand what I was trying to say now suppose when n is equal to 0 so when n is equal to 0 cos 2 pi by 3 n so cos 2 pi by 3 into 0 so cos 0 which is basically 1 right when n is equal to 1 then cos 2 pi by 3 into 1 right so you will get what minus 0 0.5 now when n is equal to what 2 so cos 2 pi by 3 into 2 so you will get again minus 0 0.5 so if you sum up this three samples so 1 minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 you will get what 0 that's what I explained to you right that sum of the samples of a period is what 0 sum of samples of one period of cosinusoidal signal is 0 that's what I explained to you that's why over the limit n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity I kept this term as 0 directly or if it was from minus n to capital N also I kept this term as 0 directly because I know it is going to be 0 because some of the samples of a period is what 0 in this case so hope this much is clear to you so thanks for watching this video if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel